What's up guys? It's Mama Deadhead and I am back with another video on Fear of the Walking Dead. So I wanted to do a little review directly after watching the episode. I didn't want to tack it on to my reaction because I realized that now I have, now that I have AMC Premiere, it gives me a lot more time and I'd rather be a bit more thorough in my thoughts and just give you guys like a straight up reaction and then review in a separate video so it's not like you're clicking on a 45 minute long video trying to like find whatever part that you want. So I actually really enjoyed this episode and I know that so many people are complaining about there's not enough action. I think that each episode has its own action and depending on like the characters that you care about it can be more stressful than others. So in this one, I'm not as like engaged because no, I don't want John to die. Absolutely not. But the other three, I'll be honest, like they're, one's brand new. So if he died, it, it would be sad, but it wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, end of the world, my favorite character type thing. And then I'm not a fan. I <laughs> just really don't like Charlie. I'm not that big on June. So like overall, it was like less stressful. I was more stressed about uh, Sarah and Dwight, to be honest, and their little situation they had going on. There was no Alicia, Strand, or Morgan in this episode because they, they are still too far off. No Wes, no Grace. Maybe Grace was seen at some point, but not like actually featured. Um, I'm trying to think. Sorry if there's a lot of ums. There's a lot to go through in this episode. So, let's talk about the rabbi first. I like him. I, I like what he is, well, this sounds so cruel, but I like what he's going through. Now, in fear, we haven't really had the aspect of any sort of religion that I can recall. The only thing that I can think of that comes to mind is when Strand was going to find his a fiance boyfriend and he's uh, almost there. There's that chapel and all of its congregations are walkers, but I feel like that's the only religious thing that's been in fear, which I think overall, uh, I think, I think a lot of shows keep religion off the table because it's more of a hot button type thing. Where a lot of people can get really mad if it's done a certain way. I know that so many people were mad about Father Gabriel and The Walking Dead. So bringing in a religious character and having like, you know, conflict can just cause issues with shows. But I like the way that they did this. And I'm coming from an aspect of, you know, not being that religious. So, or not being religious. So I didn't see any issue with it. I think that... Um, Questioning your faith is something that is very normal, or at least should be normal. I think that at some point, with anything that you believe in, you're going to struggle with it at, you know, like some point. Things get hard, and it can be something as simple as, you know, like, you really want a certain career, you're going to school for it. At some point, you probably don't want to go to class. You want to give up. You want to lay in bed and cry. Exams are too hard. So it's kind of like, I know that religion means way more than school for a lot of people, but I'm just saying like, you know, uh, <laughs> just trying to make an example here. Uh, so yeah, I like him. I think that he's a very interesting character. I think that uh, having Sarah be Jewish as well, I, th I think, I didn't quite understand all the terminology, but it seems like she is also Jewish. I think that's pretty cool. Learning new things about her characters, I think, is always awesome. Now, the whole Charlie thing... I don't like Charlie. I just... I don't. I don't think that there's ever going to be a point where I like her because there's just a lot of bleh going along with her character. And, I mean, she's just not for me. Not all characters are for all people. And, like, she ran away in this one because she doesn't want to be with, like, a convoy. Uh, because she doesn't want it to be like before when it's nothing like before. Like, nobody's using her. Nobody's making her do bad things. I think she's just... It feels like she's just having second thoughts about being a good person. Which I know 
it's probably not the case, but it certainly comes off in that type of way uh, to me. Probably because I'm so annoyed by her. But just like, I don't want things to be like before. Runs away. And then June comes in. It's not your fault. I'm pushing people too hard. I mean, it can be both. I don't understand why both shows, and why a lot of shows do this. It's not just the Walking Dead universe. It's just shows as a whole. If somebody does something that's wrong, and then somebody else is, like, indirectly responsible, they're like, oh, it's, it's totally not your fault. It's totally on me. No, it can be both people. June can be pushing people way too hard, and one of them can just act out in a way that's just dumb and shouldn't happen and they're both at fault one for pushing too hard and one for acting irrationally and irresponsibly instead of going to them and being like hey we need to figure something out because that's what really should happen in a case like this because I don't feel like John comes at a very soft approach with June because he obviously loves her very much and I'm sure that a lot of the characters care about her very much but if Charlie would have went to her in tears Saying, like, I don't want this to happen. I'm upset. Please, 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 please help me. I, I need to find a home. She would have had a conversation with her. It wouldn't have been this big thing. And oh, her running away. At least we got a good character out of it. And I know that's what they were setting it up to be. But I'm just not fond of it. This next episode looks really cool. I'm excited for it. Uh... It looks like there's going to be some conflict. Potentially the end of Logan's group. And I did talk in my live stream about this. That to me, Logan seems, if we're going to do comparisons here, seems more like a Gavin in the Saviors. He seems like he's working for somebody. He's not like wholeheartedly into this. Because he, he flip-flops. He's not a good villain. Like, and I hesitate to even call him a villain because we see him and his crew roll up on West, shoot his bike, and then hand him, you know, a walk and be like, contact this other group and you need to tell them that they're making enemies while literally giving them a friend. So I don't think that he's a, a good villain. And then when they were turning over everything in the factory, it's also like, why? Well, why were they so against Logan. So obviously they would turn on him without hesitation. So, you know, it's, it's a thing. I'm just, he's not a good villain. <laughs> so I don't think he's going to be that hard to take down. It wouldn't be a big deal to get them all to separate or be mad at one another, or, you know, but I think that's really, oh, I, I liked Sarah and Dwight together. I don't know if people are going to start shipping them now, too, because people love to ship people. Um, but I wouldn't be opposed to it, but he, his love and devotion is definitely with Sherry, and I think that she understands that and knows that. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing them put up a good fight. I am so excited to see Luciana and Wendell. Yes, I love them, and I, oh, I adore them so much. I literally cannot wait to see them next week. It looks like it's going to be really awesome. So this is episode 12. Next week is going to be 13. I I think that there's 15 or 16, so we're nearing the finale. So some big things could happen, but this next episode does look very big. So that's a plus. That's, I don't know. I'm excited. I just hope that the OGs make it out. <laughs> Skidmark makes it out that, like, you know, we're good on that front. And Morgan, as far as, like, I'm trying to think of, like, all the new people, you know, originals, OGs aside, Skidmark aside, Morgan, Sarah Wendell, I'm good, <laughs> Morgan, Sarah Wendell, Alan John too, and Grace, but I don't know if Grace is going to be in the, well, it could be kind of like a little precursor this next episode to a bigger fight and a, a bigger thing, because it does look like this, this other group comes in, in the next episode, the people with horses and hats. So yeah, that's going to be all for this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, comment down below. What did you guys think about this episode? What do you think about the new character we just gained? What do you think about Charlie as a whole? Um, 
She's something else. <laughs> She's just something else. But yes, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I can't wait for next week. Like I always say, think positive thoughts and some positive vibes. Bye. Bye, guys.